Hey everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip 45 Drives. Uh, this week we're keeping it light, going back to our Tech Tip roots of a quick Tech Tip. Um, for those who have mounted a CFFS share before, might have wondered, um, do I have to specify all the monitors? Do I have to specify any of the monitors? What happens if I only put one? For those who haven't done this, well, don't worry, stick around for a fun analogy at the end. It might, uh, might inject some life into this, but uh, let's answer that question. Um, Let's get into it. Okay, so when you mount a CFS share, you have to specify the monitors, your Ceph monitors, the IPs of them. That's how it knows how to connect and get in. But just last week, a couple of the guys on our team ask the question again and well you could always read the docs but that's no fun right so uh, i answered the question and then kind of on the spot was like oh here's a good analogy with it so first of all to answer the question you technically only need to put one monitor address in your in your mount command you can put comma separated up to however many monitors you have that is the recommended way but uh the best way to really remember that and to hit that home is wrap it up in an analogy so uh, picture this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, you're at, you go, you go to a bar, and it's packed, and the lineup's through the roof, and it's going to be hours to get in, but you know one of the bouncers. A monitor, per se. But you know one of these bouncers. And you go, you go talk to them and say, hey, let me get in, and they're your buddy, and they let you in, and everything's all right. This is like mounting with one monitor. Talk to them, you get in, everything's good. Okay, now let's imagine that... Um, his shift's over, and that bouncer goes home. Do you have to leave the bar? No. You're in. You're all good. Mounting CFS works the same way. Once you get let in that first time of that first monitor, you're in. The cluster, the, the, the client is aware of all the members of the cluster, so you're in. Your bouncer left, no one's going to go in and pull you and tell you to leave. But where you can get into trouble is if you got to go for a breather. Say you want to have a smoke, meet up with a friend, or whatever. So you leave. You unmount your client, you reboot your server, whatever, or sorry, your client machine, whatever. You leave the bar, you have your cigarette, you go back in, uh, but your, your, your bouncer's gone. Your monitor's down for whatever reason. You're not getting in anymore. That's your one ticket in, so you're screwed. And that's why, technically, you can get into a Ceph cluster with only one monitor in the mount command, but really, you should have a list of all the bouncers. You should have all three of your monitors specified there. So if you ever have to step out, have a smoke, reboot your client machine, you can always get right back in, in case that first guy left for whatever reason. All right, well, that's all you really have to keep in mind when you mount your CFFS clients. Remember the bar analogy. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that, hope you learned something, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week.